Hey there, welcome back to my channel Automate with Rakesh. Please do subscribe to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how do you fetch specific values from a data table in UiPath Studio. Now, I will make it slightly complex. If I say you need to pull this specific value 100 and then you need to pull this value and you need to pull this value. So that means your output should print your output should print 100 and it should print Deepak and it should print Delhi. Nothing else it should print. So how can you do it? Are you going to use a for each row uh, activity? How will you do it in a simple way? Okay. So stop this video at this point. Pause it here and then try to do it on your own on UiPath Studio and see if you can create this. If not, I am going to help you. Please do watch the video. All right, so let's continue. Okay, how do you how do I get only these three values? Okay, so let's see how this can be done. Now, the very first thing I should let you know that I am using the modern design. So hit on the projects tab, hit on the settings, and here if you see, I am using the modern design experience and hit on okay. This can also be done in the classic design, it can also be done in the modern design. For this video, I am using the modern design. Now the very first activity that I should work on, let me type Excel, okay? And then here you have the Excel process scope, drag and drop. This is the uh, this is the way that in the modern design you should use first Excel process scope, and within that I'm using the use Excel file. Simple Excel process scope, and within that I'm using the use Excel file. Simple. Now let's point out to the file from where I should read the data. It is there in my documents select open now the file has been pointed out the next thing i should do is i should read the data now to read the data which activity i should use read range activity type read range and with the excel icon that you see green color icon this is the modern design activities and the older ones are in light yellow light orange color these are the classic activity the old activities so i will use the modern activities i will hit on the read range done and this can also be designed in the classic activities as well just look at the syntax the syntax is more important now here i would select the read range i'll hit on the plus sign hit on the excel i'll hit hit on indicate in excel rather than selecting sheet one which is going to read the entire data in sheet one i want to indicate so i'll hit on indicate in excel the moment you do this here on the top banner you should have uipath integration confirm and cancel in case you do not get that in your excel file probably your ms office has to be upgraded to the latest version okay if you have an older one there you might have a problem you may not see this okay if that happens please do google this out you know what is the minimum version that you need in ms office okay now with this i am going to select the range and then hit on confirm okay so a1 to c4 has been selected now here Am I going to use because my output should be 100 Deepak and Delhi. It has to only print 100 Deepak and Delhi. Nothing else it should print. So do I need to really use a for each row activity to loop through the entire data table or I can do it any other way. So let's see that. This is an interesting question that comes to our mind. So let's do it. I can actually do it without it, without a loop. So let me use a message box below this activity. And in the message box, let me use the text option and then here I'm going to write it. So what I will write first, I will write the DT1. Okay. Another thing I forgot after you read the data, what you do, you store that into a data table. Okay. Create variable and store it. Let's say I'm storing in DT1. Okay. DT1 is the variable which is going to hold the data after it reads the data from the Excel file. Okay. All right. Now, in the message box, what I will do, I'll hit on this text editor and here I'm going to write the name of the data table, which is DT1 in this case, dot rows. So how do I fetch? First of all, before you fetch the data, one of the important thing is to know the index number. So this is the row, first row, second row, third row. Now the index number always starts from zero. So the first row, the index number is zero. For the second row, the index number is one. For the third row, the index number is two. So do not go by this count, okay? Excel count one, two, three, four. Always 
start from 0 1 2 so this is how you should know the row starts from 0 1 2 okay three rows index numbers are so and so same thing goes with the columns so this is the index number 0 index number 1 for this column for the c column the index number is 2 so 0 1 2 same way for the row 0 1 2 getting it so this index number is important now if i have to fetch this particular data here the row index number is 0 and the column index is also 0 so what i will do i'll go to uapa studio here dt1 dot simply type rows hit on tab and in the double quote i'm going to mention 0 and then that is the row index 0 and then i'm going to say item tab and then i am going to say index number 0 getting it so that means i am telling hey go to the data table and fetch this particular value so this is the syntax you should know hit on ok same thing let's repeat this copy paste copy paste and here i am going to simply change the values now now tell me for this value what is the row index 1 and the column index is also 1 so i will say row index 1 and the column index is equal to 1 ok and for the third data which I need to fetch here the row index is 2 and the column index is also 2 so same thing I will do open the text editor and I will say 2 so in using this method you can fetch any cell value from wherever the cell is there doesn't matter so if you know the index number using the index number you will be able to pull that out ok so index number or column name also you can write so this is done now here I am going to hit on save and I am going to run file and let us see the output. So it should print 100 and then Deepak and Delhi right this is our objective. So very good it has printed the value 100 from the first message box then it has printed the value Deepak then it has printed the value Delhi getting it. So this syntax will be very very important. So from this entire video, if I have to remember anything, then this is what I need to remember. DT1 row 0, which indicates your row index number, item 0, which indicates your column index number. With this, you can pull any data from the data table, which wherever they are, doesn't matter. Okay, so this simple trick would help you. Thank you guys for watching uh, this video and please do subscribe to my channel, Automate with Rakesh. Thank you. We are going to meet once again in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.